explain to you what I'm doing currently. That uh, there's some kind of a shaker frame rail or something that's uh, down in here somewhere that is cracked apparently that uh, we need to fix. So what I got to do is I got to pull the sieves out in the back of here. Them guys. And if you don't know anything about combines, we'll give you a quick little crash course here. So, this is the throat, the feeder house. The head's out here and then cuts the crop, brings it into the throat slash feeder house and the crop would come in. This drum is spinning coming forward. It would grab this and pull it up and go up the throat into the rotor. The rotor then is in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it real well. But that's in here. There's a big giant cylinder that runs from the front up there all the way back to there. And that cylinder, I mean, is like probably about this big around. So this is a picture of the cylinder. This would be the front. Those are what they call elephant ears. That helps bring the crop into here. But this would be right up in there. So those big elephant ear things are actually up in there. And then this, the very elephant ear, very front of the rotor there, would be right, like literally right here. It's got these rasp bars on there. And there, like that big long one, you can kind of see up in there, maybe. I don't know if you can see that. And then the little short guys are like that guy right there. So there's a bunch of those small ones all over around there. And that's spinning around pretty fast. And then these concaves, or sieves, these are the sieves, sorry. These are dropped way down because I'm going to be taking them out, but these are adjusted tighter or looser, meaning it gets closer to the rotor or further away. And that's how we shell the corn off the cob or the beans, get the pods to bust open. Then it falls through here down into this auger and these augers auger it back to here where it drops down onto that pan and that pan is shaking so it's going to shake them back and drop back there down in there you can kind of see those little fingers that's the sieves now the sieves were at the back of the combine if you look way up there that's where I just was looking in from the side over there and the grain comes off that pan up there, drops on the sieves and these fingers, you can adjust them. See how those ones there in the middle are kind of sticking up more? You can adjust them down flatter like these back ones but there's a big fan down below. This fan, I'm on the right side of the combine now, spins and shoots air this guy's spinning shoots air back around and up through there that air would shoot up through these sieves and these sieves are shaken 
back and forth really fast to help work stuff across them along with the air blowing up through the sieves and would blow the lighter stuff that's like pods that have been cracked and whatnot out the back here and the grain being heavier would fall down through the sieves way down in, way down into the bottom where uh, there's a auger way down there in the bottom which then that auger we're on the right side of the machine we would auger it out to this elevator here there's paddle chain in there that's the auger clean grain auger in the bottom that's the paddle chain there and that would come around towards us and then go up all the way up and then it'd be up there and up into the bin and then on the very back here as the trash and stuff comes out those spinners there's one on that goes on each side goes right here and they spin around these are spinning and grabbing the trash as it comes out and flings it out away from the machine so that's kind of a quick and dirty explanation of uh, the basics of the combine how it works so I got to take these sieves out. So earlier when I was describing how the grain comes through back here, your sieves would be sitting up here and as the grain comes down through it, both sets of them, they'd hit, they'd hit here and then slide down to the auger down there. You can see that. And then that auger is going to auger it over to the side where that uh, clean grain elevator was. And the fan that I was talking about too, way up there, right about there, grain would come across up there, fall down onto the sieves, the first sieves would come through there, the bigger trash would come off and uh, blow out the back, and then the second set of sieves be shut a little tighter, it would get hopefully just, just grain going through there, and then hit this and slide down to the clean grain down there. And then, like maybe some unthrashed pods and stuff that wouldn't make it through that second set of sieves would come back, and the sieves come back to about where the light is. So like unthrashed pods wouldn't make it through that second lower sieve, and they would fall down right here and go down in there, and there's an auger there that goes across And that's right here. And there's another paddle chain type deal in there. And that's what we call the tailings. And they'd go back up to there and then be augered inward back onto the rotor and come back through that rotor and the whole shoot and match again, hopefully thrashing them one, the second time they come through. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you wanna be notified of when I toss some more of these videos up, hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm.